You also need to include oral citations for your resources in your persuasive speech. Your oral citations can supplement and support your speech when you've taken the time to select and evaluate resources to find the most reliable information. While trying to find sources, you've looked at the author, the publisher, the date it was published, where it was published, among other things. Now you can use those pieces of information for an oral citation within your speech. Let's think about the article we looked at in the previous video. There were several author names, so you probably wouldn't want to mention every single name, but you could mention the different institutions the authors are affiliated with, such as the Queensland Institute of Medical Research and the Department of Cancer and Population Health Statistics. The article we looked at had the information included, but you could also search for someone's name when you find an author and see what kind of institutions they're affiliated with. You can also mention the journal where the article was published. Be sure to mention the title of the article and the year of the article or the resource as well in your oral citation. Let's look an at an example oral citation. In this example, we see that we have included the title of the article, when it was published, and the affiliations of the authors. Then at the end, once we've included all the information, we include sunscreen is shown too. And from here, you can provide persuasive info from the article. The information that you present is like a list of qualifications that show your audience that you have really researched and you're prepared to persuade them. Reliable information is important for fulfilling all of your information needs, whether they be academic or personal, but they're especially important when you want to persuade your audience. Make it easy for your audience to believe you by providing them with the evidence. Thank you for watching and complete the last question and submit your work.